Hey guys, Jeff here with Stintsville. Welcome to another YouTube video. Today we're going to talk about putting in the beautiful 4090 interior system. Well, it's a 4090, it's a 48, it's a 4070 Ti. Some people might be a little nervous for putting one of these big, big old graphics cards into a brand new system. So here today we're going to walk you through on how to put this card into your brand new PC. The biggest thing you want to do is make sure your slots are clear, your screws are not in place here, they come in on your case. What we're going to do is we're going to insert the graphics card. Typically what you want to do is you want to align these two surfaces right here with the back two PCI slot expansion slots that are on the back of your case that are probably going to be either taken out or will align with your motherboard. Each of these graphics cards are going to have a little PCIe slot that's going to connect. This is an X16 PCI slot that's connected right here onto your motherboard. So when you put your graphics card in, you can either do it standing up or you can lay it down. We're going to show you both options here today. When you're lining it up, you want those two PCI slot adapters completely straight and horizontal, completely horizontal, as you see right here. When you push your card in gently, you're gonna hear an audible click. We're gonna listen to it right now. Hear that audible click? That is slotting into the spot. You can see here that already there's not a lot of, uh, a lot of droop or a lot of sag. The card is properly seated. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get to the two screws that are probably either right there on your slots. We're gonna grab them and we're gonna make sure we put these in. When you start screwing in your card, make sure to give a little extra pressure on the top of the card here. The card's gonna wanna naturally sag with the weight of these cards. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push up slightly on the card to give it a little extra support, and we'll screw these screws on the back here, nice and firm. Now some of these cards will have either two or P three PCI slot covers removed for the graphics card support in the back here. Make sure you get all those screws in properly. And then now we're gonna move on to the power supply. A lot of these, uh, these systems are gonna come either with a ATX 3.0 power supply or they're gonna come with a th uh, one, two, three, or four pin adapter. What we have today is a single 12 volt high power cable, which is a standard cable that only has ATX 3.0 power supplies. We're gonna make sure you take our cable and we're gonna properly seat it in the graphics card. So we're gonna grab the card gently, hold it. We're gonna make sure you push this cable in completely. You're not gonna hear an audible click when it connects. Hear the audible click, and you want to make sure that's completely against the card. Sometimes we'll only go in uh, over in just a little bit. We want to make sure it's completely against the card, it's well in there, and that there's no cables pushed or tugged on the side. You tuck the excess back in your case. Make sure there's no heavy strain or support on the on the uh, the adapter here for the power. But then you're good to go. You've successfully now installed your graphics card. If you guys want any other questions, we're going to replay this really quick for you from the top down, so you can take a look at how to do it. All right, guys, there it is. We've installed this brand new graphics card into the system. You can see here it's nice and secure. If you guys have any questions about how you can potentially support a card or you want to make, make sure you have more support for it, you get these beautiful little adapters on Amazon. They're like GPU support brackets. They're a single stain. You can put them right here on the side here. It'll help support the card. Other than that, you're good to go. Your graphics card is installed. Obviously, when you're plugging it in on the pack here, make sure you plug it into the graphics card for your all of your cables. It's not putting it on the back of your motherboard. Make sure you put it on there. Other than that, enjoy your brand new PC and enjoy your games. If you guys have any questions or concerns on how to do this or need more step-by-step -step process, feel free to join our Discord at discord.gg slash If you have questions about the PCs that you've seen built here on our YouTube channel or PCs like this in general, feel free to join. We'll help get you set up. We're a full-time system integrator where we're trying to help people build the best PCs possible as well as having helpful tips like this today. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us and we look forward to the next video.